What's going on? Today we have a hike here in the Grand Canyon and we're gonna do the easiest hike possible which is the Rim Trail which in total it says on the map 12.8 miles. We'll see how much we do of that so let's get into it. First initial views from the Mather Amphitheater. Our plan is to start at Mather Point uh, Amphitheater, which we just saw, and then we're gonna go all the way to the third point of El Tovar Hotel, take a shuttle, and then go to South Kai Bab Trailhead to do that trail. Just a quick little look at the Grand Canyon Visitor Center. We get to see that they have a little film and a little bit of information. You can also go up and ask a lot of questions. This is my first time at the Grand Canyon and they say once you see it, you see it. Um, but it's super cool to get the different angles from this uh, rim trail. A great viewpoint to get pictures out here. So from the Mather Point to El Tovar, that is two miles there. We've got 7.7 of a mile to Yavipi Point. All along you're able to get these really cool viewpoints. This trail is really cool because it's accessible to everyone. I mean, it's all flat and paved, which is nice. Um, but the reason why we're doing the South Kaibab Trailhead is because we also want to get that experience of kind of hiking a little bit inside of the canyon and it's not that hard according to the signs where it said moderate compared to the other ones it said very difficult stopped at one of the viewpoints the edge here is no joke as you can see that drop is an instant death so uh we're gonna be careful it's looking like a really bright and sunny day today so we're looking forward to seeing the sunset walking into the geology museum here. Definitely recommend going to the Geology Museum where you get a bunch of cool views here of the Yavapai Geology Museum. Um, the store here was really cool because everything was cheap. We were able to stop at the Yavapai uh, stop and now we just have 1.2 miles to get to the El Tovar Hotel. And we got to the Trail of Time. So on the Trail of Time you get to walk a million years and it's just these little plaques that might be a little bit hard to see. Uh, here you go. So you got 43 and they match them up. So cool little uh, add-on that they have. So we got a basalt lava rock right here on the trail of time and we made it to 90,000 years. The nice part of this trail is that once you get far enough there is not as many people and uh, off to the distance we can actually start seeing the El Tovar Hotel, which is just a little speck. I don't even know if the camera is able to gather, but we're able to get a cool view here of the Grand Canyon. So I've really enjoyed all the little descriptions and how old these are. So here's the uh, Bass Limestone, so really cool and I really like that they added this to the trail. We're coming on March the 1st and it has not been too cold. It is very breezy um, there's been some strong winds uh, but I think it's a perfect time to come where it's not too hot and there's not too many crowds coming in on these trails so we were able to just finish up the trail of time which is super cool uh, definitely recommend it's a good little add-on I mean it's connected so you don't really have a choice but uh, pretty cool to see we're at the Vert camps visitor center so let's check it out So we got this little South Khabib trail since we'll be doing it and we get a cool little view as well of El Tobar right there. So we're here at the Hopi House and they've got Native American arts and crafts and apparently they also have Navajo rugs for sale. So we're gonna go in so watch your head. That was the Hoppy House where you saw some really cool Navajo and Hoppy jewelry. And now we're gonna check out the El Tovar Hotel. That's so cool. Oh, 
exactly. got the Grand Canyon train here. So we're at the Blue Shuttle Bus uh, station here, which will take us back to the parking lot. Um, they run every 15 minutes and are free and accessible to everyone. So we're about to start the South Kaibab Trail to Ua Point. So this is a 1.9 mile hike. They listed it as moderate. Um, there is a full South Khabib or Kaibab uh, trail that is 6.5 and that is considered difficult and strenuous. The trail is currently muddy because of the snow melting. Um, it's a little slippery. This 1.9 mile trail is perfect if you're trying to get a quick little hike in and if you're on crunch time um, or if you want to walk a little bit but maybe don't feel like the difficult ones are at your level, this is a great option to have. Seeing the sheer drop from that top of the other part of the cliff is really impressive but it also gives you an idea of how small you are when you come to these national parks. We're approaching the Ua point and it is definitely worth it. it that point 0.9 of a mile down at least felt really easy, very calm. Um, just make sure that you're not getting too close to the edge of course, but besides that, uh, definitely worth it. And like I said, we made it to Ua point here. So we've got some 50 mile per hour winds hitting us uh, right in the face and I got on this little edge here so I gotta be careful because I'm not trying to die. Not today, not tomorrow. So our climb begins back um, and I'll give you guys uh, feedback if it actually is that tough walking back from the Uha point back to the start of the trailhead. These stairs definitely looked a lot nicer on the way down and I should say they felt a lot nicer. So we've got to climb all the way up there in that little switchback up there, but so far not too bad, but the hard part's coming up. And the start of the switchbacks begins here, so, but not too bad coming back. I honestly expected it to be a little bit worse. Um, depending on your level, it might be worse. So just take into account, but just take your time, bring lots of water and maybe some snacks. Even if you don't hike all of it, just coming down to this point here, just seeing this cool view is definitely worth it. Taking into account what type of year you're doing this, whether it's very hot or whether it's very cold, this probably looks a lot different than the beginning of March. So make sure to plan your trip accordingly. Just like that, we're right back to the beginning of the trail ahead. Um, and something to take into account is that the last shuttle, at least when we're coming, uh, comes at 7.44 and after that it, there's no more. So Apparently you can ride the mules down and I'm curious what that looks like. I mean, there's a lot of mule poop on the trail, so it's something to take into account. We've made it back and now we're just gonna wait uh, 15 minutes for the orange bus to take us back. And then we're gonna go see the sunset over there at Matter. Now we're walking back to see the sunset as it should be setting in around seven minutes. We're starting to get super cool views of that sunset hitting the rocks. We've made it back to Mater Point and we're gonna get a really cool sunset view from here.
Hope you guys enjoyed this Grand Canyon video. We were able to see a lot with the seeing the South uh, Kaibab Trail going inside of the canyon. Super cool. Definitely recommend it. And then doing the Rim Trail, just such an easy trail for everyone to be able to enjoy. So uh, just one last look here at the Grand Canyon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more.